Kids Leap Island, unlocking every child's potential. Stay connected for your transformational children's stories and fun learning videos. Hello children. Today we're going to learn how to tell the time. This is a clock and these are the hands, the long hand and the short hand. The short hand shows the hour and the long hand shows the minute. Whenever you see the long hand pointing to 12, we say a clock. Now look at this. The long is at 12 while the short hand is at 1. Therefore, we say the time is 1 o'clock. Watch this. The time has changed to 2 o'clock. Now, what time is it? The time is 3 o'clock. Next, when the long hand is at 3, we say it is quarter past. It means that a quarter of the hour has passed. So the time on this clock is quarter past two. This is quarter past four. And this is quarter past five. Again, when the long hand is pointing at six, we say it is half past. The time on this clock is half past three. Now the time says half past four. One more thing. When the long hand is pointing at nine, we say quarter to, quarter to two, quarter to three. Let's talk about when the long hand is pointing at numbers different from 12, three, six, and nine. We count minutes in fives. Each of these numbers is counted as five. Now let's do it. Five past four, 10 past four, 15 past 4 20 past 4 25 past 4 Remember, half past 4 After half past, we count how many minutes we have before the next hour. So this is 25 to 5 Next we have 20 to 5 Next, quarter to 5 Quarter to 5 is the same as 15 minutes to 5, 10 to 5, and 5 to 5. To recap, when the long hand is at 12, we say it's a clock. When at 3, we say quarter past. At 6, we say it is half past. Finally, when at 9, we say quarter to. I hope this helps you to learn how to tell the time correctly. Thank you for learning with me.